Did you know that the King James Bible nowhere says immediately after the tribulation? Well, you're so dumb, Denlinger. You're, you're so stupid. Uh, no, actually, I'm not. Turning your Bible to Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. The King James Bible says immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. It says it right there. Then why is it that all these little cult following of Stephen Anderson come out and they say immediately after the tribulation. The Bible says immediately after the tribulation. Immediately after the tribulation. You know what you're doing? You're subtracting from the word of God. You are literally not quoting the rest of the verse because it overthrows what you believe. How so? How does it overthrow what we believe? Well, very simple. Keep your hand in uh, Matthew chapter 24 and go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brethren, or beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Read all the verses on purpose. Why? Where does it say, Matthew chapter 24, verse 29, The sun shall be dark, and the moon shall not give her light, the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. The rest of the verse, verse 29. Where does it say it in 1 Corinthians chapter 15? It doesn't. It says there uh, in verse 52, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Is that in a moment in the twinkling of an eye? Matthew chapter 24? You mean to tell me the sun darkened, the moon not giving its her light, and the stars falling from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken? Is a, like that? Twinkling of an eye? An eye blink? Boom. Done? I don't think so. So you see, what Stephen Anderson has to do, the little Satanist that he is, he has to come along and he has to tell you He'll deceive you into saying, immediately after the tribulation. I mean, the, the timing of the rapture is clear. It says immediately after the tribulation. He is subtracting from the scriptures. That's how he deceives people. Hmm. What's the Bible say about people that subtract from the word of God? You see, if he quoted the whole verse, and I know, oh, he'll do it in some studies. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to exposit the word here. He, will not, he won't talk about this. He won't compare scripture with scripture. If he reads the whole verse to you, verse 29, you'll clearly see when you compare it to rapture passages, there's no sun, moon, and stars being darkened and things falling from heaven and powers of the heavens being shaken. It's in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. It happens quickly. No warning. Matthew chapter 24, it's not quickly without any warning. They see the signs. How do you know? Verse 30, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Where's that at in 1 Corinthians 15? It's not there. Don't be deceived. 